we want to investigate how the height drop of the ball affects the bounce height. So I have taped my tape measure to the wall. I have put the light end at the top to make sure that it doesn't fall because if the heavy end is at the top, it would keep falling. I stuck it to the wall using some blue tack or white tack in this case here. I stuck the bottom at 100 centimeters to make it easier for me to read my inverted scale. Because if I now if you look at 90 centimeters on the scale here, that would correspond to 10 centimeters away from the floor. I'm going to hold my ball, starting off at 10 centimeters. Make sure I'm at eye level with the ball. Put the top of the ball aligned with the 10 centimeter mark or 90 centimeter mark in this case here. And I'm going to drop the ball and see how high it bounces back. Now in that case there, it's hit the tape measure itself. You want to make sure that doesn't happen. So you make sure that you move the tape measure out of the way and so that it bounces onto the floor and back up. Record your height, plot a graph and all the rest of it.